Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're gonna revisit the socket extension. Last time we tried this 34 inch, 3 8 inch extension, but we used a direct drive power tool and we had things perfectly lined up and the results weren't as bad as I was hoping for. So we added a wobble socket to the end. All right, let's see what happens. When we try this out at an angle that's off from straight line. Hey Mike, what do you think is gonna happen on this one? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> All right, we got the super long extension and the swivel at the end offset at about a 30 degree angle. Um, you might be wondering how we're going to measure the torque here. I can measure the torque at the tool, but I'll measure the torque that it puts into the joint with a digital torque wrench by checking the residual torque. So uh, hopefully this socket stays on here. Don't try this at home. So 30 degrees of angle at 150 Newton meters. Let's see how much torque is left in this joint. hundred and thirty three Newton meters. Better than I expected, but our wobble doesn't really quite wobble all the way anymore. So that definitely was a scary tightening from a flexing standpoint. Um, we actually put a decent amount of torque on here. We measured just over 10% of torque loss, which if this were a critical joint, would definitely take us outside of spec. So in an ideal world, we would have straight inline access and we wouldn't have to use something like this. So definitely proceed with caution. And then we actually damaged this wobble during the tightening. So uh, probably best to find a better solution for production. All right, we'll see you next time.